dzukijos.lt. Buruželės darželyje įgyvendinamas projektas Razma Plus, kuriame dalyvauja keturios šalys – Lietuva, Danija, Lenkija, Turkija. Šią savaitę čia jau vyksta antrasis šio projekto etapas, na, o atvykusius svečius pasitiko Buruželės mažiai auklitiniai. Šis projektas vadinasi ilgesnė žemės gyvenimas, kalba apie tvarumą, apie klimato atšilimą ir mes sugalvojame šią temą, kadangi šiuo metu labai aktuali tema yra ir kad nuo pat mažų dienų būtų vaikai mokomi rūšiuoti, mokomi nežvaistyti tiek maisto, tiek atliekų, Ir tiesiog savo mažom rankelėm, kad gražintų mūsų šalį ir prisidėtų prie šio tikslo. Kokio šalis dalyvauja šiame projekte? Šiame projekte dalyvauja Danija, Turkija, Lenkija ir Lietuva. Mes dalyvaujame partnerio teisėmis, o projektą pateikė Danijos. Jūs šis būtent dabar šis momentas, kai čia atvyko į jūsų darželį svečiai iš Danijos, Lenkijos ir Turkijos, ar ne, jau galim skaiti yra antras etapas, pirmas etapas, kada įvyko ir kur jūs vykot? Pirmas susitikimas mūsų vyko Turkijoje, Stambule, tai tikrai labai perkrautas miestas, labai didelis rautas, transportas, daug žmonių ir iš tikrųjų jie šią temą vysto dar labai neseniai ir tiesiog mes esam jau daugiau pažengę šioje srityje, tai mes tiesiog pasikalbėjom, susitikom su miesto atstovais ir pasikalbėjome, kaip jie, ką jie planuoja, kokias veiklas planuoja ir jie iš tikrųjų labai džiaugiasi šitų tuo projektu. Na, o dabar antras susitikimas vyksta Lietuvoje, trečias susitikimas bus Lenkijoje Promniko mieste ir ketvirtas Danijoje Koldinge. Štai dabar mes matėm, kad svečiai galėjo pamatyti, šiek tiek susipažinti su Lietuvos kultūra, būtent ir muzika, ir šokiais, bent jau kažkokia dalelytė. Kas toliau yra numatyta programoje? Iš tikrųjų, jie visi atvyko vakar. Mes jau vakar važinėjome ir vaikščiame po lytų, buvome ant baltosios rožės tilto. Jie iš tikrųjų buvo sužavėti mūsų gamta, mūsų švara miesto ramybė ir tai, kad mūsų miesto meras prisideda ir vadina mūsų miestą žaliuoju miestu, tai jiems tai buvo tikrai labai puikiai idėja. Ir jie sakė, kad toks perkrautas miestas kaip, tarkim, Stambulas, jie norėtų gyventi tokiame mieste, švariame mieste. Na ir mes numatė esam ir veiklas, šiandien į savivaldybę eisime, kad ir miesto vadovai pasakytų, kokių tikslų turi ir tiesiog supažindintų su tikslais ir lankysimės tik o tik centre. Taip pat vaikščiosime po miestą, numatytos mūsų veiklos ir darželėje, Steam laboratorija lauke. Na, iš tikrųjų labai daug veiklų, kaip mes rūšiuojame, kaip vaikai tą daro ir kaip reikels daiktus naujam gyvenimui ir jie kartu dalyvaus mūsų veiklose. Kalbant ne tik apie tvarumą būtent, bet apskritai visada greičiausiai, na, švietimo įstaigos visada stengiasi viską paimti, gerosios patirties pasisemti, kaip čia yra? Na, mes taip pat pasisemsim gerosios patirties ir pasidalinsime savo patirtimi. Iš tikrųjų, tai mūsų jau antras Erasmus projektas su šita komanda ir mes jau esam lankęs iš šituose miestuose. Tai tikrai turėsime ką parsivežti iš Danijos, nes tikrai labai švaru ir labai tvarkinga, tai mums taip pat bus labai puiki patirtis. What are the main differences between... Lithuanian kindergarten and Denmark kindergarten. Uh, I think the most uh, the differences. I don't see the difference is maybe the system of how you are, are um, uh, doing with your children. You you are more, maybe you do the activities like uh, more like a, a planned things or planned activities and uh, for the children. But and we are maybe play doing more by playing, so following the children's. Uh, step and how what how they are in the developing and like this and we're not we're not planning so many uh, scheduled uh, activities as i think you're doing here 
Uh, but still, we are doing the same thing as you do, uh, but, uh, but a little different. It is, it, I, I didn't see so much today because we only saw some uh, uh, samples from the children and what they are doing. So we didn't see the, the daily life here in the kindergarten. But I think the daily life in the kindergarten will be, will be more like uh, um, uh, activities uh, planned by the teachers. And in Denmark, it would be different. It would be more like uh, the, play, the children playing around, and then into this, the, the teachers will do activities with the children, and something they will plan on their own, on, the, on, the, on, on themselves, how you can say it. But normally, it would be. Uh, uh, I think that's the most different thing. We are more, we are more uh, adults. We are more teachers in each group, and that means that we can let the children play more. When you are less uh, adults or teachers, you have to have more structure. And I think that's maybe the main difference between uh, the schools here in Lithuania and the Danish schools or kindergartens is that we have more teachers and we, can, uh, uh, we don't need uh, so much uh, structure as you do. Uh, we saw that uh, children in Denmark spend a lot of time outside, yeah? Yeah, that's true. Uh, and it's not only in our kindergarten, actually in all kindergartens, we use very much time outside because we think it's a, it's a good space for them. They have good uh, uh, activity with their bodies and uh, they don't get so much ill too. And they also um, um, have this, not, not so much, they will not be so crowded. They uh, have more uh, uh, silent in their head and like this. It's, uh, there are not so many conflicts. Uh, uh, so it's better for them, we think, and uh, it's, a good, uh, it's a good place to be outside because you can do everything outside uh, with the children. And they actually like very much to be outside. We don't think it's too cold for them because it's only how you dress. Normally we say in the, in the north, we say it's not about the weather, it's about how you dress. What are the first impressions here uh, in Lithuania, Lithuanian kindergartens? Okay, uh, it's not my first time to Lithuania, it's second time, and uh, we were uh, really very warm welcomed, and we can say uh, the students and teachers are well prepared for this project. In this project, uh, Longer Life on Earth and Erasmus project, we have two different mains aims to reach one of them is direct the other one is indirect indirect uh, aims direct one is to prepare next generation for the world and to prepare world for the next generation what i saw what i uh, observed in this today at this school the students are really prepared for the world and if you can uh, have a good communication all together we will have a better word for the next generations too indirect uh, aim of this project is to build uh, bridge between cultures as i can see and the others can see we have different uh, countries in same place and um, have good relations and i honestly can say we are reaching our aims by this project and uh, i would like to thank to our lithuanian team and our partners for all these uh, beautiful things they did for the project and for us and for our world thank you uh, we saw uh, a longer life on earth uh, is it uh, easier to teach uh, children or parents to save our uh, land well i think uh, it is better to teach the parents <laughs> first, <laughs> because the, the children are coming from the parents, and if you can, if you can educate the parents, the children will be. It will be easier to teach to the children. <laughs> uh, so, what uh, was the is the first impression here in Lithuania about kindergartens? Here in in, uh, in Lithuania. Uh, well, it's not my first time. As one of my friends said, uh, I wa said I was in Lithuania before, uh, and always with best impressions. Uh, I, first of all, I think uh, the enthusiasm we can see uh, in teachers in the way they uh, just try to show us the best from here. Obviously, they try. Uh, but how the, t uh, the, the children cooperate with them, uh, how they are really motivated. You can see them really enjoying taking part in things like, let's say, their, they, the, their artwork uh, or, let's say, um, they're, they're working on this uh, presentations like dancing and so on. All this. You look at them like uh, artists, but you know that they put heart in it. Uh, so that's the thing I love here. Uh, the atmosphere, the, the heart you can see, they put in it. In every corner, actually. 
What are the main differences between uh, Lithuanian kindergarten and uh, Poland? Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I don't know much exactly about kindergarten because we are a primary school, but we have this, uh, this small children are young and youngest, uh, youngest uh, levels uh, too. Um, differences, you would say that a lot is maybe similar. Uh, but maybe this big motivation. You can see sometimes our, our children, like, I don't know, uh, I don't want to call them lazy. <laughs> but here you can really see them, you know, wanting, uh, enthusiastic. Um, hmm? Differences, no, it, it will be difficult to tell you. Mm -hmm. this, this is maybe quite a similar place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, is it easier to teach children or parents? parents to save our earth? <laughs> um, it is difficult to teach anything to parents, anything, because they are adults, they have their own consciousness of reality they live in. Uh, so, so maybe this is the difficult part, yes? Uh, children are the ones who uh, are the ones who are uh, like, you can shape them, yes? This is what we're trying to do. Um, Maybe, let's start with this. One of my friends uh, really recently uh, observed one thing uh, that some years ago, um, let's say, children were le learning from parents. And I remember myself like this. I was learning from teachers and from parents. And nowadays you can observe, especially in case of teenagers, like we have teenagers in our school, very often you can see parents and teachers learning from teenagers and we really learn a lot from them from the way they look at life from the way they choose what to put their heart in uh, from from the way they they just choose what to do and how to be in life so maybe so maybe if we teach children teenagers our students they will take something home and their parents observing them and their you know their way of being will will learn from them so uh, children can teach their parents, yeah? Definitely. Uh, I'm a mom too, and I can tell you that I'm learning my new uh, view upon life from my teenage sons, and I'm happy about it. We can learn the best from them, because they are natural. Um, you know, they are not the ones, uh, they will lie to you, obviously, and treat what they want, but they are natural. They, um, they are not destroyed, but all the life, all, all the reality. Um, I think nowadays uh, children and, and, uh, and teenagers are very um, truthful. Um, maybe they are too lazy, you know, to, uh, to work on, on things that are not worth it. Dzukios veidas.lt